Hello, and welcome to the Ohio State University safety video series. Today we will be demonstrating the proper way to lift objects from the floor. In this video, we will explain and demonstrate techniques you should implement when lifting a stable object, that is, one that is unlikely to have weight shifts while you are lifting it, such as a box, and an unstable object, that is, one that is likely to have weight shifts, such as grocery bags, children, and sandbags. More than one million people suffer injuries while lifting and handling everyday materials, particularly back injuries, which account for one in every five or 20% of workplace injuries or illnesses. And most of the back injuries occur in the lower back. Everyday activities are filled with a variety of physical demands. However, injuries are typically reduced when individuals are physically active and participate in fitness conditioning activities, such as resistance training. We hope this video series will not only help reduce injuries from performing various lifting tasks here at OSU, but also help make your workplace safer and healthier. If you know that you will be challenged by a lifting task, you should always plan before you attempt to lift an object. Inspect the object or objects you have to lift. You should know what you are lifting, approximately how much it weighs, and the chances that the object may shift during the lift. In addition, you should inspect the pathways to your destination to ensure that potential hazards such as rugs, floor lips, steps, etc. along the way are minimized or at least identified. Everyone is different with unique lifting capabilities based on their strength, power, flexibility, and coordination, or prior injury. For example, your ability to lift may be compromised if you have a bad back or knee injury that limits your ability to lift. You should know what you are capable of lifting by yourself and seek help either from other people or use a mechanical lifting device when lifting objects beyond your physical capabilities. If you have the opportunity prior to a lifting task, you should always warm up before you start. Once you have determined that you are capable of lifting the object, planned your lift or lifts, and warmed up the muscles you will be using during the lift, you are ready to start your lifting tasks. The basic lift is the most common good lifting technique and should be used to lift objects that are small enough to straddle where you have enough room to use a wide stance. Get close to the object, stand with a wide stance, put one foot forward and to the side of the object, keep your back straight, bend your knees, and use your legs and hips to lower yourself down to the object. Move the object as close to you as possible Put the hand that is on the same side of your body as the forward foot on the same side of the object furthest from you. Put the other hand on the side of the object closest to you. Your hand should be on opposite corners of the object. Grasp the object firmly with both hands. Prepare for the lift and look forward. Using a smooth controlled motion while keeping the object close to your body, lift upwards using your legs and not your back. As you lift up, keep your head forward, your back straight, push your buttocks out, and breathe out. If you are lifting the object correctly, your head will lift up first, followed by your straight back. If your hips come up first and you must bend your back as you lift up, then you are lifting the object incorrectly and are increasing your risk of injury. Once upright, Pivot your feet in the direction you want to move and then move in that direction. Do not twist at the waist. Twisting and jerking motions while lifting or moving an object greatly increase your risk of injury. When objects are too large for you to straddle, you should use what's called the power lift. The power lift is very similar to the basic lift. However, when using the power lift, the object shifts your center of gravity forward and you must compensate by pushing your buttocks out. Put one foot in front of the other using a wide stance. Keep your back straight, bend your knees, push your buttocks out, and use your legs and hips to lower yourself down to the object. Move the object as close to you as possible. Put the hand that is on the same side of your body as the forward foot on the side of the object furthest from you. Put the other hand on the side of the object closest to you. Your hand should be on opposite corners of the object. Grasp the object firmly with both hands, prepare for the lift, and look forward. 
Using a smooth controlled motion while keeping the object close to your body, lift upwards using your legs and not your back. As you lift up, keep your head forward, your back straight, push your buttocks out, and breathe out. If you are lifting the object correctly, your head will lift up first, followed by your straight back. If your hips come up first and you must bend your back as you lift up, then you are lifting the object incorrectly and are increasing your risk of injury. Once upright, pivot your feet in the direction you want to move and then move in that direction. Do not twist at the waist. Twisting and jerking motions while lifting or moving an object greatly increase your risk of injury. The tripod lift should be used to lift unstable objects that have uneven weight distribution, such as grocery bags, children, and sandbags. Put one foot next to the object, keep your back straight, bend your knees, and slowly lower yourself down onto one knee. Position the object close to the knee that is on the ground. Grasp the object firmly with both hands. Slide the object from the knee on the ground to mid-thigh. Keep your head forward, your back straight, and your buttocks out. And lift the object onto the opposite thigh. Put both of your forearms under the object with your palms facing upward and hug the object to your stomach and chest. Prepare for the lift and look forward. Using a smooth controlled motion while keeping the object close to your body, lift upwards using your legs and not your back. As you lift up, keep your head forward, your back straight, push your buttocks out, and breathe out. If you are lifting the object correctly, your head will lift up first followed by your straight back. If your hips come up first and you must bend your back as you lift up, then you are lifting the object incorrectly and are greatly increasing your risk of injury. Once upright, pivot your feet in the direction you want to move and then move in that direction. Do not twist at the waist. Twisting and jerking motions while lifting or moving an object greatly increase your risk of injury. In summary, when lifting an object off the ground, you should Know how much you are capable of lifting safely Plan the lift and move and remove any potential hazards along your destination Use the safest lifting technique, basic, power, or tripod lift depending on the object you are lifting Use a wide, balanced stance Hold the object as close to your body as possible Keep your head forward, your back straight, bend your knees, and lift with your legs, not your back. You should never lift with your back bent and legs straight. Lift the object in a smooth, controlled motion. Never jerk or twist while lifting or moving an object. Lift your head up first, followed by your straight back. If your hips come up first and you must bend your back as you lift up, then you are lifting the object incorrectly and are increasing your risk of injury. Pivot your feet in the direction you want to move once you are upright and then move in that direction. Do not twist or jerk while lifting or moving the object. We realize that everyone is different and these techniques may not eliminate lifting injuries altogether. However, use of these strategies and techniques should reduce your risk of suffering a lifting injury. Thank you.